Hello everyone, we will see one example for general to specific ordering of hypothesis. Here we are taking two training examples and three hypotheses. So here first we are having the two training examples, sunny, uh, warm, high, strong, cool, same. The uh, target concept C of X is uh, here, yes, for like that X2 also positive example. Now we are deriving first hypothesis, you look at that, uh, uh, sunny, uh, two quotient symbols, strong and two quotient symbols. So is it uh, matching with the X1 and X2, we have to check. So the hypothesis one, sunny, here we are having the sunny, it is matching, quotient symbols, yes, both are quotient symbols, uh, I mean it will accept any values. Here it is a strong, yeah, here also it is a strong, then here uh, both are quotient symbols, that means it will accept any values from the x1 of uh, fifth and sixth attributes. So a uh, hypothesis h1 is uh, consistent, that means it is satisfying the uh, training sample x1. And uh, training sample x2, we have to check with the hypothesis h1, uh, first value is uh, sunny, here also it is a sunny, then uh, two quotient symbols in the H1, here it will have any value, so it is not a really problem. Here it is having a strong, the, but in the second example it is a light, so the H1 cannot satisfy the training example X2, so it is not uh, uh, consistent with respect to training sample H2. Then you select the next hypothesis. For the next hypothesis here, we will check the attribute values of X2, X1 and X2 with H2. First, uh, this is sunny, yes, for training example, here it is also sunny. Then all are quotient symbols, that means it will accept any value of these five attributes. So it is satisfying the X1. Then uh, compare the H2 with X2. So first value, first attribute value is sunny. Here also it is a sunny. Then uh, remaining all attributes are quotient symbols. Though so the H2 is satisfying both X1 and X2. So H2 is consistent with respect to samples X2 and X2 and X1. Then you take the uh, second uh, third uh, hypothesis H3. In H3 we are having here it is a sunny. So uh, the first uh, first sample first attribute is sunny so it is uh, uh, satisfying then remaining three are uh, quotient symbols that means all three are no problem at all so which is satisfying then fourth uh, fifth one is cool but uh, here also cool so it is satisfying then here it is a quotient symbol it means it will accept any value so h3 is satisfying the x1 and uh, h3 should be checked with the x2 so in the x2 uh, we are having here sunny here also we are having sunny then uh, remaining three are uh, quotient symbols so here it is accepting any values then this one is the cool but here it is a warm so the x2 is not satisfied by the uh, H3s, okay. So here H3, this is a H2, this is a H1. So first, first sample is satisfied by the H3, right? Uh, but second sample is not satisfied by the H3. H2 is satisfying the both X1 comma X2. H1 is uh, satisfying the X1, but uh, X2 is not satisfied. So X2 is not satisfied. So when we are comparing this uh, H, uh, H2 and H3 and H1, H3 is more general than H2, right? Like that H3 is more general than okay h1 so like this we can uh, specify the more uh, that more general than a uh, relationship or more general than or equal to general uh, i mean uh, uh, relationship. So here uh, H2 is imposing only fewer constraints. That means only H2 is having sunny constraint. Remaining all are general constraints. That's what it is saying here. So here H1 and H3 cannot be compared uh, because H1 and H3 cannot be compared here. Okay. Because both contains different values. Both contains different values. Strong in H1 and uh, here uh, quotient symbol in H3, okay. So you look at that in H3, uh, we will see that now. You look at that here strong, 
we are having strong in h1 here we are having the quotient symbol so we cannot combine both like that here quotient symbol available in this place for a fifth attribute but here it is cool available so we cannot compare the h1 and h3 for the relationship so the and another one order relation we are saying here uh, suppose any hypothesis A more general than any hypothesis B and any hypothesis B more general than hypothesis C. Here we can say hypothesis A more general than hypothesis C. It is a transitive relation. Okay, transitive. Okay, but it is anti-symmetric. We cannot say like this. We cannot say HB more general than HA right it is called anti symmetric okay so if it is if it is having this both cases then that kind of relation is called partial order relation based on this relation we can uh, define strictly more general than other that means hj is hypothesis j is strictly more general than hk we can define like this uh, hj is strictly more general than hk if and only if hj more general than hk and hk not more general than hj okay hk is not more general than hj so if it is the case then uh, we can uh, find the inverse also so this is uh, somewhat difficult to find out the solution in this manner so instead of that we can find inverse inverse is here hj is more specific than hk you look at that hk is more specific than inverse it is a more general actually inverse for inverse to this inverse to this general is specific so hj is more specific than hk when hk is more general than hj so we can find the inverse to find uh, solve the strictly more general than concept so this is uh, about the strictly more general than the other hypothesis thanks for watching